Pull him out. What do you want? That's all? Okay. Now, I've never actually tried Belkin earbuds, but these actually caught my eye for one reason and one reason only. It's because it's actually compatible with the Apple Find My app, as well as Google Fast Pair technology. It works like an AirTag, where even if it's not connected to anything, it'll use the Find My network so you can find them at all times. Now, that being said, other than that, these do have some great features, including being a 2022 honoree at the CES Innovation Awards, which I couldn't go to for reasons. Hmm. Anyways, these are the Soundform Immerse Noise Cancelling Earbuds with hybrid active noise cancelling technology and Bluetooth audio and multi-point functions. The hybrid ANC eliminates unwanted sounds for clear listening through outward and inward mics. Multi-point technology connects and seamlessly switches between multiple devices, which is very cool if you have multiple devices such as a MacBook, an iPhone, an Android device different things connected to all of them at the same time. Customizable hear through mode adds back desired levels of outside noise, which is great if you happen to be commuting around on a bicycle and you wanna still hear traffic around you. They're IPX5 rated for sweat and water resistance for intense workouts and unexpected weather, which is always nice to see, especially if you're sweating in the gym or you wanna work out in the rain or just walk around or something. As well as having fast pair technology to discover and connect to Android phones with a simple tap, similar to how AirPods connect to iPhones but I guess we're not having anything like that for the iPhone. But the good news is locate case with Apple Find My Network and each earbud with the Belkin Ping My Earbuds app. So if I happen to leave it at the gym, it's not connected to my phone, not connected to Wi-Fi, because I guess they wouldn't connect to Wi-Fi anyways, but the point being, it'll connect to other iPhones in the area through the Find My Network and I can see exactly where they are as long as there's iPhones nearby. Yes, please. This is basically like AirPods with a different design that's a little bit smaller and more compact. Now, as far as the audio goes, we're looking at 12 millimeter drivers to deliver immersive audio, six microphones for ultra clear call clarity, sound form app offering a personalized listening experience, as well as a compact design forward wireless charging case included. Yes, wireless charging too. These are checking all my boxes. Now, that being said, this box is extremely lightweight. I mean, just how good they look inside of his ears right here. Let's get these opened up looks like we just tear this okay different than i expected but it works oh, they slide. oh wow that green looks awesome inside the box we got a little booklet with a bunch of nonsense as well as a little bit of an instruction guide letting you know the ins and outs of the headphones which wow a lot of stuff going on here i really like the attention to detail with everything look at this you can just slide everything out it's really nice but we also do have different size ear tips as well as these little wings to keep them securely in your ear especially when you're working out and a usb a to usb c charging cable and then finally onto the earbuds themselves look recyclable made with recyclable materials perhaps and oh wow I did not expect that but we do have a nice glossy black finish on the top along with a nice matte black finish on the bottom and a simple USB-C charging port on the back along with a little button for power and pairing but let's pop this open oh okay the LED lights on the front let's see what we got inside earbuds looking nice very nice size and these already do have the wings pre-installed along with some ear tips left and right indicators on the inside along with a microphone hole as well as the charging pin connectors heading over to the outside we have led indicator lights along with more microphones more microphones on the side little buttons up here on the top of each earbud and very nice design. I like how it's matte black mostly because of the wing although it is glossy black so it will become a bit of a fingerprint magnet and might get a little bit dirty but at least this part's gonna be in your ear. And as you can see right now, the blue light is flashing, so we are in pairing mode. Oh, and that's very cool. So first of all, magnetically attached, very nice and easy, but we also do have a Find My indicator here, so it's actually gonna be connecting to the Find My network, which is extremely awesome to see. So controlling these earbuds look to be fairly simple. We have these single buttons on the top of both earbuds. With a single tap, it'll cycle between active noise canceling, hear through mode, and just standard regular mode with no funny bits business going on. You can double tap the button to mute the microphone while you're on a phone call. And then we actually do have touch sensitive buttons over here on the sides. If you tap the right one one time, it'll raise the volume, tap the left one to lower the volume. If you want to play and pause, you double tap either one. If you want to go to the next track, you triple tap the right one. If you want to go to the previous track, you triple tap the left one. 
If you want to answer or hang up a phone call, you double tap either one. If you want to ignore a phone call, you're going to hold down either side for two seconds. And if you want to activate your voice assistant, you're going to also hold down for two seconds on either side. As far as the charging case goes, the LED indicator light will be red if the battery is very low. It'll be yellow if it's about 50% and it'll be white if it's 100% charged. Taking a look inside, if the lights are flashing, that means it is actively charging. If the lights are solid, it means that it's fully charged. And powering the earbuds on and off is as simple as removing them or inserting them into the case. So now to get things started with these earbuds, we're going to download this Soundform app and open it up. It's going to be searching for our device, make sure it's turned on and in pairing mode. So it looks like we're going to have to actually open up the case, take out the earbuds perhaps. They're flashing blue and it has been found. SF Immerse, connect, Bluetooth pairing request. And we're connected in about five seconds. So the app is actually going through how to adjust different settings, how to put them in your ears and how to adjust the sound to your liking. We'll just skip that for now. And as you can, wow, this app looks very nice. So right here, instantly find your case if it gets lost, add the location of your case to the app, we'll find my app so you can find it later. We're gonna definitely do that. So we're gonna continue. Tap the case button three times. One, two, three. Okay, there's the loud tone. I heard the tone. Locate with Find My. Okay, we're in pairing mode. Let's connect. Roderick headphones. Select an emoji. I guess the headphone emoji makes sense. We'll continue. This item is linked to your Apple ID. You can locate it with the Find My network. Using this item to track people without their permission is a crime in many areas. Wow, so you can actually use this like an air tag. So that's very, very cool. So we can agree. But of course, if you're trying to track someone, it says it's basically illegal in a lot of places, and once they find this, it's linked to your account, they're gonna find you too. Makes sense, right? Once we have it connected with the Find My app, it says the headphones are currently with me. You can see directions in the map to find it. You can play a sound when you're nearby so you can find it and enter lost mode so it'll leave a message and phone number for the person who finds it. Very cool. I love that they included this feature. I know it costs extra money to get this chip and the feature installed onto this case. And also Belkin and Apple do have a bit of a partnership going on because they have a lot of products together. But I really hope a lot of other companies follow along and add this to their products as well. And now very nice, we can actually see it listed in my items. And since I lost it, I can play a sound. It starts beeping, so now I can locate it. I can stop playing the sound. I can see the battery percentage, when it was last seen, directions to it, all this different stuff, which is very cool. And you can even have it notify you when somebody finds it or when it was left behind. I like that. Let's take a look at the Belkin app. As you can see, we're connected to the earbuds. We have left and right battery status indicators on the top right, so they're both mostly fully charged. We have different scenes. We have default, immersive. You're not streaming audio. Oh, so it wants you to stream stuff when you switch between them, I guess. So that makes sense, kinda. Then we have noise control settings. So you can actually turn this on and have active noise canceling or hear through mode if you wanna hear outside. If you want to hear outside noises coming in through the microphones or you can just simply turn it off to save on battery next we have the equalizer so we have belkin signature sound by default but we also have all of these different options as well as custom eq but it looks like you have to be streaming audio to adjust anything so i guess you can hear the difference kind of makes sense but we can go to custom eq and you can adjust the eq to your liking and it looks like you're able to adjust any preset except for belkin signature sound because it's their preset they don't want you messing with it next Next we have media control so we can actually adjust and change the different controls so a single tap is volume down but you can adjust it to anything you want to customize them to your liking so that's very cool. Next we also have phone controls although these you can't really change they're just going to be the same but you can take a look at what they are. And then we have additional settings so auto pause, auto pause is the music if either earbud is removed from the ear, reinsert to resume so that's very cool I'll leave that turned on. We have gaming mode so the latency between the device and gaming source is reduced. Okay, that's cool, but I'm not going to be gaming, so I'm going to just leave that turned off. Multipoint will allow sound to switch seamlessly between multiple Bluetooth devices without connecting and reconnecting. Very cool once again. And then we have mic monitoring, so you can hear yourself speak in a voice call, so that way you don't have to talk loud because you can't hear because, you know, you're blocking out all the outside noise. Also very cool. I'm going to turn that on. Some people won't like that, but I know I like that. 
Now up on the top right, we have a gear icon. If we tap on that, we can update our firmware, which is currently up to date and it's the initial release. So I guess they haven't had any updates whatsoever. That's good, I guess. I guess nothing's wrong, hopefully. Then we have locate device. So you can actually play a sound if the earbud is within range of Bluetooth on your phone. So if you dropped it in the gym and you're walking around and keep pressing it and you're connected and you'll hear it beep. So let's actually do this real quick. So we're gonna locate the left one, play a sound. I found it and you can stop it with another tap it started off very quiet it got a little bit louder it's not super loud so if you're in a loud area I'm not sure it's actually gonna help you but it's nice to have there's really not much else to see we can see about device get support app info submit feedback and shop for more sound form stuff so now let's get these earbuds pulled back out and now the moment of truth let's see how well these actually fit <laughs> I just realized I accidentally did touch the button. I did hear a beep and active noise canceling turned on. Very good. I can't hear any fan noise whatsoever. Dead silence. Of course, I can switch over to transparency mode. Oh, that was a really nice ding. It sounded like a little doorbell kind of. And now I can actually hear things. I could hear myself. Hey, tell me a joke. What do you call a shoe made out of a banana? A slipper. Okay, that joke wasn't the best, it was pretty good, but this is actually one of the best transparency modes I've experienced. It actually sounds natural. It sounded like, it didn't sound like it was going through a microphone, it just sounded natural, as if I didn't have earbuds on. That is very impressive. I can't believe it. And of course, if you happen to be wondering what the microphone quality is like, this is a raw unedited sample coming directly from the Belkin Soundform earbuds directly to your ears. And in my personal experience, based on how the transparency mode is, I'm assuming the microphones sound very good, but I'll let you be the judge and let me know down below. So although I'm very impressed with the active noise canceling as well as the transparency mode so far, that doesn't mean anything if the audio quality is bad. So now let's finally play some music. Ooh, some good bass already. Oh. Touch sensitive buttons working very well. Okay, very good. Yeah, touch sensitive buttons, very responsive. Honestly, we have some good bass going on here. Honestly, even with noise canceling turned on, turned off, or with hear through mode on, the audio quality does sound pretty similar, which is very good to see. Yeah. Oh, okay, now I can hear myself, very nice. So let's try out a couple of different scenes. We have default, let's go to immersive. Okay, Immersive has more of a 3D feel to it. Voice. Okay, so I guess voice is more if you want to hear people talking. It's different scenes depending on where you are, not what you're listening to. I found that out just now. So as you can see, as you turn on different modes, it turns on different settings, different equalizers, so it matches your environment. Okay, so it's reducing the bass, adding some hear through so I can hear things a little bit better around me. Okay, I see, I see. The equalizers definitely do sound different too. Very good, and of course you can adjust the EQs, customize them to whatever you want, make your own presets, do all that good stuff. So now auto pause. Auto paused after about a second or two. Let's put it back in. Started playing. Pull them out. What do you want? That's all? Okay. Perfect. Now, of course, we gotta do the YouTube test and test out video latency. All right, everything's already in sync, which is nice to see, especially considering I don't have game mode turned on, which brings the latency even lower. Now, all that being said and done, these earbuds are very impressive. Like I said, I especially like the feature that we have access to the Apple Find My Network so we can locate the case in case we happen to forget it somewhere, as long as iPhones are in the vicinity on the Find My Network as well. The app itself is very well designed, beautifully designed, actually. It looks amazing very easy to manipulate the different features and settings I like the scenes so depending on what I'm doing okay I'm I want to be able to hear people talking so I'm gonna turn that one on. it's gonna turn transparency mode on so I can hear things which sounds natural as well as bring down the bass so it's not cutting into my conversation although for the most part when I talk to somebody I take them out because it's kind of annoying although now with transparency being this good I might leave them in because it's a lot easier than having to take them out put them in but when you do take them out it automatically pauses the music when you put them back in start it's playing very nice every time the touch sensitive buttons work flawlessly the little button on top 
flawlessly as well. Very comfortable in the ears, nice secure fit. And overall, very high quality earbuds here and I can definitely recommend them case is a bit big it's a little bit bigger than when you have a standard airpods case but of course we don't have the airpods design and we also actually have 24 hours of playback time with the charging case and seven hours with the earbuds themselves not only is the audio quality good active noise canceling is good hear more mode is good everything is just good